What is up everybody, it is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and today what we have is Training Camp Reaction Review and News Episode 3. In this video we're going to be talking about Calais Campbell and what he had to say about a specific Jaguars rookie, and one Jaguar as well that is looking to take a leadership role in 2019, and it might not be who you think it is and we have all that and more but before we jump into that video why don't you leave a like down below if you just want jaguar football season to just start already and go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the bell icon to get notified every single time one of these videos go live so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's hop into that video what is going on everybody it is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and this is episode 3 of Jaguars training camp reaction review and news in episode 2 of the day on Treeb Talks and it is actually the real second day of training camp you know the first time I released a video about this it was check in day for everybody in training camp and you know there was some news to be talked about during that stint so that's why we started it that early. So if you're confused on why day number two is episode three of Jaguar Training Camp Reaction Review and News, it's because there were some news that was breaking the day of check-ins. You know, the Jalen Ramsey entrance, the Anakin Gawkway situation, we had to talk about it. So that's why we are in episode number three of Jaguar's Training Camp Reaction Review and News. We got news about Calais Campbell, Chris Conley, Jared Wilson, the list goes on and on and on. So let's not delay the video any longer. This is the Jacksonville Jaguars Training Camp Reaction Review and News episode three. So first things first, we're going to be talking about one of the Jaguars' newest additions to the team, wide receiver Chris Conley. Chris Conley had a good day overall today and made a very, very impressive catch from a not-so-great throw from Nick Foles, I would say. It wasn't the best-looking throw I've ever seen, but Chris Conley turned around, made it a big play. Without further ado, go ahead and watch the video. And that video is courtesy of my guy Cold Take Chris on Twitter. Go give him a follow. His Twitter will be in the description down below. But Chris Conley, seeing him make those plays is huge from a Jaguars perspective because we really don't have a wide receiver that can make those catches, at least we thought, heading into training camp, heading into the offseason. But Chris Conley looks like he could be that dude. He could find the highest point of the ball, jump up, make a play in between defenders, take a hit, and go down with a big gain and a big play. You love to see that from Chris Conley. You love to see that from a new acquisition. And it's going to be fun to see what Chris Conley can do in the regular season if he's already making plays like that in training camp. And coming up next, we have two pieces of Calais Campbell news. Calais Campbell met with the media today and discussed numerous things. One of those things being the difference between this year's and last year's camp. Now he says it's very, very different from a year ago, and you know, with the additions that the Jags have made and the holdouts that are going on, I would assume that the vibe around camp is definitely pretty different. I mean, you don't have Blake Bortles as the quarterback, you actually have Nick Foles, who seems like he's been able to throw some competent passes and be a good look for this Jaguar defense, but Calais Campbell says it is feeling different, and here's what Calais Campbell had to say overall about this year's camp. Even maybe two years ago. Way different. <laughs> It's a nice change, though. You know, I think the team is uh, maturing, and uh, you know, he's allowing us to be pros. You know, and to kind of uh, do what we need to do to get ready. And uh, you know, he's still, uh, you know, we're still working really hard. You know, uh, getting a lot of good quality reps out there and competing. You know, I mean, it's really iron sharpening iron. You know, it's great to see. Calais Campbell, who's always a natural-born leader, showing why he is a team captain and why so many people on the team and around the league as well truly look up to Calais Campbell. He is a great player, he's a vet, and you know when he says that this training camp has been different and things are running smoothly, you know for a fact that this operation is moving smoothly, at least on the football field, and you love to hear that from a leader and from a guy like Calais Campbell. Now, this isn't the biggest thing that got taken away from Calais Campbell's day with the media. In fact, the biggest thing he said had to do with a rookie and how well he has played thus far in training camp, and that rookie's name might surprise you. That rookie that Calais Campbell had some praise for was linebacker Quincy Williams, saying, You can't help but to notice him. He's done some good things. He's getting better each and every day. It's too early to see if he is going to be the guy we need him to be but he's getting better. The biggest thing, what makes him a mistake, can he correct it? Today I saw him make some corrections from yesterday. That's a good feeling. 
Hopefully he keeps going, but he is a guy that we are going to need to step up. So, Clayus Campbell already having high praise and a lot of things to say about Quincy Williams, a guy that Jaguar fans really want to be successful. It's a guy that when we did our Jaguar linebacker breakdown on Monday, which already feels like 15 videos ago, we talked about Quincy Williams a little bit, but we said we didn't really know what to say about him because we haven't seen much of him. But, you know, when you have a guy that's been in the league for so long and a guy that's so well-respected, in Calais Campbell saying all of those things about you, you know that this guy is destined to be a good player. And I'm very excited to see what he has to offer because as of right now, it looks like the training, the team around him and the coaches really think that Quincy Williams can be something and he can make an impact on this team. Whether that be with the starting defense or on special teams is yet to be seen. But getting that praise from Calais Campbell is a big, big deal. And the last piece of news is this man is deciding to take some leadership of the young safeties and on the defensive side of the ball, that being Jared Wilson. Jared Wilson says he's one of the most uh, experienced safety and Jaguar on the team, so he knows they had to step up and kind of embrace that leadership role in two things. One, it's really fucking wild that Jared Wilson is, you know, one of our most experienced players on the whole entire team. That's crazy to me. I can't believe that. And number two, that's good for Jared Wilson because, you know, if he he understands that this is his opportunity. This is his opportunity to be a really good player and to show why the Jags didn't make, an exten- uh, make a mistake by extending him and showing him that maybe down the line he might deserve some more money. And if he can assume this leadership position and really, you know, take these young guys under his wing, kind of develop guys like Ronnie Harrison, that's going to be a big, big deal because there's already tons of leaders on this Jaguar defense. And adding Jared Wilson to the list of leaders would not be a bad thing. It'd be a tremendous thing, a great thing if Jared Wilson assumes that leadership role. And it's crazy that this is a guy that we always talk about saying, oh, he might not even... He might not even get the start. There's still some people that could beat him out. You know, Cody Davis has a higher overall in Madden. But at the end of the day, Jared Wilson thinks that he can hold this leadership role and really lead this team. And that is something to be excited about, about a guy that we were really questioning during the offseason. And that was Jaguars Training Camp Reaction Review and News Episode 3. What would you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.